It's been just over two weeks since most schools went back to in-person learning, and now some districts are sending kids home again. They need to quarantine. And day breaks. Karis Belger joins us this morning with reaction from those districts. Good morning, Karis. Now, good morning, PM Melissa. We've heard from two districts about confirmed cases in the classroom. One, the Springville Griffith Institute canceled classes for sixth graders after multiple confirmed cases. They'll be returning today for in-person learning. The superintendent, Kimberly Moritz, told to on your side, classes for sixth graders were canceled after a third student tested positive this week. She says the district wanted to take the opportunity to coordinate with the Erie County Department of Health. Moritz says these are not the first cases that the district has been notified of and expects this is something they will have to continue to monitor closely if they are to continue with in-person learning this year. We've had 20 positive individuals in our district, which is a much greater rate than what we saw last year. And of course, because we are in full in-person five days a week, which is absolutely our goal, I almost feel like this is the cost we have to pay because of being fully in person. It means this um, high standard of who gets quarantined. Superintendent Moritz says the district checked the schedules of the three positive students and determined they were in close contact with around 20 to 25 students. And we also know about 17 positive cases at Akron High School. The superintendent made the decision that the entire school will switch to remote learning beginning next week. He told to on your side at least 175 students are expected to have to quarantine. And the district is also working with the Erie County Department of Health. I'm Karis Belger. Back to you.